Hi guys, good to talk to you guys once more. We'll be talking about libraries in Android. Finding a library that fits your needs starts where all the rest of your questions have been answered so far. That's right. Libraries are useful for solving problems that appear over and over again in different applications. If you search Stack Overflow, often the accepted solution to the problem you are trying to solve will be a third party library that does exactly what you are looking for. Uh, we're going to mention two resources uh, of finding libraries and uh, we'll be looking at more details you know, when it comes to third-party libraries. There are many third-party libraries for Android, but several of them are must-have libraries that are extremely popular and are often used in almost any Android project. You know, uh, each has different purposes, but all of them make life as a developer much more pleasant. We'll be looking at the major libraries uh, in this video just a little insight in each one of them we have retrofit which is a type safe rest client for android which intelligently maps an api into a client interface using annotations uh, you can get retrofit uh, from the github page where you can either include it as a dependency uh, via the gradle or you can download it uh, most times is used uh, via the dependencies you know, there's the page to actually get yourself started consuming apis with retrofit uh, we'll also be talking about glide a powerful image downloading and catching a uh, library for android you can also get uh, that dependency from the github you know, displaying images with the glide library Know, is an image loader library for Android developed by Vomtech. It's quite uh, good when you're talking about communicating with a cloud service or an API in uh, getting images most specifically whereby you have the ability to catch and at the same time you can undo errors that can come from uh, the communication. We have Bretton Knife you know, which uh, talks perfectly when it comes to Java annotations. It makes Android development better by simplifying uh, common tags uh, when you get to be calling find view by hide over and over and over again. I have videos uh, which actually explains how you can use Button Knife, which is from Daga. This is a very good annotation library which I will implore you to lay your hands on. Uh, we have Parcela, you know, the Android Parcelable, which make easy true code generation you know this actually uh, also very you know useful uh, you can actually get it right there from the github you know this actually make uh when you're communicating in getting uh, most especially when you're trying to get and set apis this is when you get to use the pass label the pass label is uh, quite good when you are even uh, sharing intent putting extracts to other activity you know i will implore you to lay your hands on uh, Pass label. We have I speak, you no, know, and I also mentioned the leak canary, and we all know Espresso. Espresso is uh, quite uh, good for unit testing, and uh, it's uh, right embedded in Android Studio, which you can take use of it when you are trying to integrate testing and testing each step of your application flow. Use Espresso. I have a video in my YouTube channel based on Espresso, and we have some other advanced pack. Uh, whereby uh, these are more advanced to use but are popular among some of the best Android themes you know when you start to get more deeper into uh, Android development you get to understand some of these advanced you know, aspects we have Daga which is a fast dependence injector for managing objects and we have Rx Java uh, which is actually developed fully to reactive components for Android you know? and uh, we have the event boss which uh, is the Android event boss for easier component communication. Uh, you can all get their links on GitHub. I'll be sharing some of uh, the links with you so that you can easily uh, get what I'm trying to talk about here. Uh, we have the event boss, which you are right seeing when activities uses intent to pass data between screens and also use when we call fragments to use multiple ways to communicate. Uh, the event boss is uh, quite handy and useful. We have Android annotations, you know, the powerful annotation to reduce boilerplate code. You know, Android annotation actually uh, helps you 
out in different aspects of your Android development when you actually want to reduce uh, the the uh, let's say the startup of uh, of the Vaboos nation of Java, which solely lies uh, from Android. You know, uh, this is actually going to take away a lot of annotation. You can create your own annotations uh, right on top of this, so you can actually layer. So this is more much more advanced. Uh, these are the few uh, libraries I'll be talking about. We also have other libraries like uh, with, uh, Picasso uh, Voli, which is for networking. We have for list view, stick list editor. A lot of libraries have been used right as I'm, I've been creating uh, most of my videos and uh, I want you to actually take it of libraries. Just because there is a library that seems like a perfect fit for your need, do not be too hasty in adding it to your application. Using a library that is not well maintained or documented comes with a host of other issues and is likely to cause more of a headache than its cures. On their GitHub page, uh, you should uh, look uh, specifically on when it has been modified, if deprecated or not. For example, I have a library called from Jack Walton, which is the nine hood like uh, Androids. Can you notice that this is deprecated? And this kind of library uh, should not be used. Uh, if you should notice this still calling honeycomb APIs. You know, this has been uh, deprecated a long time ago. And you actually need to look at the years that it's been modified. You know, six, five years ago is just too long. And you should also take note, some libraries are handled by companies, some are done by individuals, you should know. And also some libraries are free, but the usage you must include the license you know, from Apache, you know, which is the open source license. Once you are using an open source library, your application must be uh, open source to some extent, you know. So you shouldn't uh, try to hid the code away. You no, know, that's just it. That's just what uh, I would like to talk to you about libraries. Start to use libraries in your application, and uh, also be careful of the library you pick. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. Have a wonderful time. Bye. -bye.